So yeah, I know y'all can tell by the time this video that it's gonna be a studio Christian and so I'm about me and my business. First thing, I guess I'm gonna talk about myself. So um, if you don't know, I feel like I had something on my book. I mean, I did. Okay. If you don't know, I am the owner of Liz Mills. I am 16 years old. A lot of people do not know that. Um, a lot of people actually think I'm a lot older because of how my business is ran and how professional it looks and just how I run things overall. So, yeah, I have to say that I'm gonna be 17 and damn it, basically. My birthday is April 25th, 2004. So, yeah. Um, I graduate in 2022. I cannot wait <laughs> to graduate so I can move on to new chapter of my life. Plans after high school. Unless my YouTube takes off, but I really feel like either way I'm gonna go to college um, because being an interior decorator is something that I really, really want to do regardless of how rich I get or whatever how successful I get. Before I graduate, I still want to do that. So I believe I am going to still go to college either way it goes. That's pretty much it about my, well, yeah, I want to be an interior decorator and do real estate and then I still will do nails and stuff on the side. YouTube, I feel like it's going to be a lifelong career because you're really just talking in front of the camera. It does take up a lot of time um, with the talking in front of the camera and with the editing, but I really enjoy it because I get to show people things that they might not have known or I learn new things, meet many people. So it's an overall good experience doing nails. I really love doing nails. Um, it keeps me focused and kind of distracted from other things that go on in my life. Whether it's bad or it's something good, you know, it just gives you something else to do and it also provides that money, which who doesn't like money? Yeah. So that's that with that. About that. Um, where am I from? I'm actually from Palm Bluff, Arkansas. If you don't know where that is, that is down south. I don't really want to say down south, but we're kind of down south on the globe. I mean, on the map of the United States. We're kind of down south. Um, it's a really small. I don't want to say it's small, it's kind of medium sized, not big as you know, Texas or Florida. California, those are big states. Arkansas is kind of by itself, really. But yeah, I'm from Palm Beach, Arkansas. I live in Little Rock, Arkansas now. We moved up here about five years ago. Yeah. Um, I like it up here. It's okay. It's pretty good. Does anyone expire me? A lot of personnel companies do expire me. They're who I get most of my ideas from for the nails or I just go on Pinterest. I don't have a exact person that expires like other than my mom maybe because she taught me to never settle for anything and that you always need to get your money. Make sure you have your business handled make sure you have your business handled for anything else. Okay? Okay. But yeah I don't really have a person other than my mom that doesn't expire me like a celebrity or anything. I really don't um really get too much expired off of celebrities. Nothing wrong with them, like you know. Of course, they're like, sorry, my bad. Of course, they're um, you know, rich gold. So like, I want to be that rich or whatever, like that. But really, inspire me now. I don't. Um, how to have a successful business? All I can really say is be yourself. Do not steal someone else's content, because a lot of people they go around or their followers. I've seen a lot of people post videos with the jean jacket and then it be flower, then it be um plants or flowers in the background i've seen a lot of that and um i think the first person i saw it do it um i was like oh okay that's creative you know but i wasn't going to you know steal her idea or anything because i didn't personally like it i mean it looked well for her business but for mine i didn't like it and then it was like once i saw her it was like another one another one another one another one another one another one, another one, another one. And I was just like, I started getting confused. I didn't know who pictures was whose or what. I didn't know if she was sending pictures, they were sending pictures first. I couldn't tell because they all had the same kind of image going on like that. Um, but yeah, so all I can say is be yourself. Come up with something that people will recognize your content by. I know Nell. Nell Bay. Nell Bay. I think that's the name. Nell Bay LA. Um, there's, I can 
instantly recognize theirs on Pinterest because the same way they take their nail pictures. That's why I started taking mine on. Uh, it's this thing in the Get Some Woman in a while back. It's this um, kind of like a TV. Now I want to say a TV stand, but something that you can put your stuff on. And then it's like, it also has a vase. A flower vase in there you can say so that's kind of used for mine because I know no one else has had it now a lot of people do the jean jacket everyone has jean jackets um and they kind of do another aesthetic type of picture and like everyone can easily copy that and then they get upset when someone does but I'm like you kind of put yourself up for failure because you want to do something that someone else's can't easily copy you know what I mean but you know some people they do what they want to do. Um, you can't exactly get mad for someone copying your style because you always inspire people. You always want to inspire people. You don't want to come off as rude. Like, of course, Nike, they inspire other brands too. Like, it's just what happens. That's just what happens. But it's life. Um, what will this channel content include? Okay, so haven't exactly made up my mind. So you might see some changes. Um, it will include nail hauls. It will include um, tutorials about nails. Um, really stuff to go on my website, like how to size your nails and stuff like that. How to apply Leah's Nails Plus on nails, something like that. Just so it goes to my website because I get a lot of Twitter DMs or Instagram DMs saying, how do I apply the nails? Even though it's one on my Instagram page, I'll just get them my YouTube link and they can easily watch it from there on how to size your nails or whatever they may need help with. Also, it will include some personal videos, like this one I kind of count it as a personal video, but not really, cause it's kind of, you know, letting y'all get to know me and helping y'all kind of understand what this channel is going to be about. But, um, yeah, so you will see like, kind you will see, you will be seeing my face more. I can say that. I love to show my face on camera because I feel like it gives people, it lets people know who's behind the business, who's behind the YouTube, like, so you just won't know like you so you will know who is behind it that makes sense but i kind of hate when brands don't really show their face i don't know if that makes sense i feel like some brands you don't need to but i feel like some of them do like some of my videos i know it just like the camera be pointed down and be focused on what like i'm doing that's just so it gets right into the video um and you know, cause it's like certain videos, like this one to show my face, but it's like certain ones that it just needs to be focused on what you're doing in that video. If that makes sense. Who is Liz Mills? Um, I guess I am Liz Mills. <laughs> if that makes sense. Liz Mills basically is a brand that I created on my own. Um, it represents personal nails and personal pro nails. I feel like as I get I know I'm worth it. I feel like as I progress on more, <laughs> um, I will spread my options onto other things. Right now, I'm just focusing on those two things because though it's what I master in, like I'm really good at that. Um, I don't really know what the future holds for my business, but I know right now I'm taking it day by day and just striving to become a better me and better my business. Because people literally think I'm like 28 or 25 or 38 or 40, just because the way I run my business. They do not be thinking it's a 16 year old behind me. So I'm 16. You're 16? Oh my gosh. You run this business so well. And I'm like, thank you. But yeah, so. Um, I hope that answered the question pretty good for her. How did you come up with the name? Um, I really was trying. My sister was like, you want something that represents you. You don't want it to represent other things. You want them to, when they hear your brand name, you're like, they get it. You know what I'm saying? So, I made it, um, me. Because it's not a company like Nike. That's a whole company. It's not just one person. With me, it's one person. So, I was like, Liz Nails. Because... My name is Malia. They're my nails. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I got it. It took me a while. I'm not gonna lie. It took me probably over 100 tries before I finally got it and I finally stuck with that name. And then when I finally stuck with that name, and then it's like I took off so quickly because I just stuck with it. After a while, she started doing nails. Background story. Um, I started doing nails because one of my teachers, well, rewind, I've always were more personal nails. I used to take them out to Dollar Tree, Dollar General, but I'm not knowing. 
and sneak them on. I used to hide my nails in the car on the way to school because <laughs> she didn't know me wearing them. But that was back when I was, um, how old was I? I was probably seven, eight or nine. I was so young um, when I first started wearing them. But then over time, she finally kind of opened to me wearing them. Um, but then by that time, I was doing them anyways. I think I started doing them. Like, I started painting them um, and buying them when I was, like, 7, 8, or 9. I started doing them, like, for for a good enough to sell. It wasn't until I was 15, but before that time, when I was 14, going to 15, something like that, I was doing people nails, like, physically doing their nails. Um, yeah, so, I really didn't like it, which I'm kind of happy that I did switch on to doing actual professionals. I was trying to really get into acrylic and because I'm raised to a person of all time, people were like, why don't you wear acrylic? So I was like, okay, fine, I'll start doing acrylic nails. And I was really pleased with other people, not myself. And so I started doing them. I really didn't like them. And then, um, yeah, so I ended up switching over to personal nails. And one of my teachers was like, can you make me some nails? Right, but I had none of this stuff off. All I had was a dryer, the nail file, the nail glue. That was pretty much it. I didn't have none. I had the nail polish too. But I didn't have the personal nail stands. I didn't have none of that. So I had to literally go and use Q-tips, I believe I used, to put the nails on and paint them that way. I don't know. I can't even really remember how I did it, but I made it work. And then after I made that money, I actually went and invested in some personal nail stands off of Amazon. And yeah, ever since then, it's just been Leah's nails. Like, which I really thank that teacher because she really gave me a scribe to do it. She was like, your nails are so pretty. And yeah, 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 I used to think people just lying and telling me that. I'm like, dang, it's real, they really are. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically how I started doing nails. But yeah, so I hope I answered everyone's questions. Um, I probably will be doing another video like this in a couple months. I'm gonna try to do one every couple months because life changes every day you know so yeah and try to keep y'all guys updated but i hope this video answered a lot of people questions that they have about me and i hope y'all enjoyed it but until next time bye guys